Hello and welcome back to Oxygen Not Included. So, in between episodes, I've managed to get the majority of the problems with our little cool generator uh, worked out, for the most part, kind of, sort of. So, basically, it is functioning. Uh, this is all oil in here, not eth no ethanol. Uh, I've got my steam going, I've got my hydrogen up here. All my temperatures are looking roughly where they should be. This is slowly cooling down. It's pretty good. I had to replace the wire bridges with the, with join plates because they were overloading. Um, other than that, we are about where we need to be. Why was this one able to be that? I don't remember. Oh, because it's getting supplemented from the power coming that way. Okay. Uh, anyway, that's all well and good. Um, I am going to need to get the, uh, outgoing pipe set up so I can figure out exactly where I want this power to go, or power, uh, cold to go. Obviously, I'm going to want some of it right along here. Uh, other than that, we'll get it figured out. All right, so... What is the lowest temperature this thing is allowed to have? 50 degrees? 50 degrees. All right, so we are going to need a couple of items here. Before I even get, like, duplicates going, anything like that, we need to get just a couple of items on the go. We want... Let's see. There should be, like, a temperature sensor. Thermo sensor. Here we are. Let's put a thermo sensor right about here. Yeah, right about there. And then we're going to also want one of the liquid shutoffs. And that's probably going to be somewhere around. Hmm. Hmm. That's going to be a little difficult. I haven't left myself a whole lot of room here. Yes, I can put it in this room. Yeesh, that's gonna be that's gonna be fun. All right, we'll put that there, and then we're gonna have some. You know, we're gonna have some regular liquid pipes at first. Which way do I want this to flow? I kind of want this to flow the other direction. You know what? Let's go ahead and get some of these pipes deconstructed first. Um, let's see, we want, actually, let's go deconstruct liquid pipes. Let's actually go to our liquid pipes, and we're gonna do that, and we'll get those out of the way. Um, this guy's gonna have to move, so let's get that done down to there, probably like that. You guys can all get deconstructed, because that's already filled up. I'm probably not going to be able to get that liquid bridge. I ended up having to deconstruct... Well, no, I can't get in here at the moment. I ended up having to deconstruct that one tube and basically put a thing there because the heat was getting out through the tube. So, unfortunately, that means I can't access that without letting a bunch of heat out, which I really don't want to do. You can see it's still actually a little bit warmer here, because it had been red, but it started to cool off again. So that's good. So we'll get that. Let's go ahead and let this run. Let them deconstruct all those tubes. And then we can figure out where we exactly want things to run. We are going to want automation wire to run between these two. So I, we, we know that. Because this guy is basically going to tell these pipes to stop letting the cold in when it gets a little bit chilly in here. So how are we doing here? We are currently in the 50s of degrees. What is the uh, freezing temperature? Freeze point, negative 40? Okay. Now, I don't think allowing this to freeze is going to cause any actual problems. So, the fact that I don't have a sensor in here is fine. And if it does start to freeze, I can always come and just shut off one of these power transformers, which will, in turn, you know, keep the thermo tuners from running, which will allow things to start to heat back up again. Kind of. Yeah, basically because this will be running and draining the heat still. Alright, so you. 
We want you a little bit higher than that. Let's go to like, let's go to 60, 60 degrees. All right, send signal if above 60 degrees. All right, that's good. Now, what else? And where am I with power? We could use a little bit of power here. Let's get just some conductive wire. Like so. Plug that in. Uh, you guys have gotten rid of most of this. You haven't gotten any of that, though. That's. I guess maybe you can't get there for some reason? I guess? Maybe? Kinda sorta? Whatever. Alright, let's go ahead and get these pipes run. So, we want to have some basically good pipes here. So, let's see. Let's get... Do, do, do. We want plumbing, we want radiant liquid pipes. Um, high thermal conductivity, I guess that's fine. Alright, so we want some radiant pipes basically running like so. We're also going to want some down here, which I'm going to need. What is that? That is, of course, that. Um, I'm going to want just a few... Ooh. Alright, that'll probably have to do for the moment, because I don't have a whole lot of iron. You're... no fabrication's queued. Let's get some more iron on the go. Alright, so we got that, we got that. Let's go ahead and start getting some of our insulated pipe run. Actually, I wanted to have some regular pipe first. I would really like this to run this direction, so let's go ahead and do that. You are gonna run... like so... into there. Then we're gonna switch to insulated for the rest of the base. Alright, you... How am I gonna get to there? Guess we'll do that. We'll have a liquid bridge there. We'll have a liquid bridge there. We'll connect into that. That's as far as we're getting at the moment. Let's go ahead and liquid bridge this. Uh, doot doot. You go that way. You go that way. And that'll be as far as we are currently. So, basically, the liquid pipes will allow heat to transfer through, but not as quickly as the uh, radiant pipe will. So this will help cool off those guys, just help them keep a little cool. <clears throat> I don't need to make that area super cold, and I don't want to lose too much of the cold to the thing. Now, I am having a little bit of power issues here, and that's going to be a real problem when I run out of uh, natural gas. But we can deal with that after we finish getting this process set up. So how are we doing on our iron? Let's see. We want refined metal, iron. We still have some, or we rather have some again. So let's go ahead and get some of these radiant pipes kind of going here. Just like so. Would I like to make some of these other areas cool? I think... That's probably going to be enough, because if I can basically do that, that should spread throughout the base, right? So let's go ahead and get insulated pipe. And we will do that. And let's go straight up. Should I kind of feel like I should. Just a little bit more of the old radiant, just like so. And then, back over this way, we're gonna need to do this mess. Like so. Alright. And then we will liquid bridge our way to victory. One more. Blam. All right. So, oh, and one more. 
I missed that one. There we go. That will be our cooling loop. So that'll end up keeping this area here the coldest, because that's the first one on the loop. You are basically... Alright, so we got people doing stuff. Good, let's super speed this. Get them to do this a little bit quicker. Do, 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 do. These guys should be fine with all this stuff. And then we can just get this filled up. And we should be good. Doesn't need to be completely full, but the more that is in it, the better uh, it'll cool. Alright, you guys are being slow with the insulated pipes, that's okay. And then I'm going to also have to figure out something to do with the oxygen, because I'm starting to run into a little bit of issue here, because, like, these pipes are all backing up because the oxygen is being an issue. We're doing fine down here. This guy, though, I've only got another 16 cycles before it goes dormant again for a little while. Um, uh, do, 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 goes dormant for... 40 cycles? Looks like. Something like that. Not quite 40. No, just slightly over 40. 40.6 cycles, it looks like. Alright. So, that'll be fun. Alright, let's get this guy done. And I can always shut the cooling loop off. That's the thing. All it'll take is basically me saying, disable this building, it'll turn the power off to this thermo aqua tuner, and the whole process will shut down. So let's go ahead, get these pipes done. You seem to be all set. You're getting all that granite going. I think, how much do I have? I have, I have enough. Let's go ahead and... As soon as that guy's done with that, boop, there we go, turn that off. We don't need to burn all of our iron, just most of it. Um, somebody needs to go be healed. Lyra, go, go get healed. Uh, I had a bunch of duplicates take damage from heat when they were in here trying to build these, like, uh, the, the temp shift plates. They're showing as unreachable now, but that's fine. It ended up fixing things a little bit with the one that I got built, because this one was taking a bunch of damage, because it was heating up the most, so I got the temp shift plate, and it's working. So that's good. You guys are doing okay. This area's cooling down really good. Alright, you guys are... being a thing. Do 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 let these guys... Right, I was going to super speed this a little bit more. Let them get this rest of this built. Do, 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 do. Alright, that looks like that's all done. So let's... Oh no, not quite. But we're really close. Let's go ahead. Pull up the plumbing. I need a liquid bridge. So this should fill the loop. Now the problem here is it's going to heat up before it cools down. If I do that way. But, if I do it that way, it'll work. Alright. Oh, hey, we got something more in the printing pod. Um, earth leaf seeds, because I don't need more dudes. Yeah, you guys are all running into pressure issues because I've got too much oxygen. Which means I'm not getting the chlorine and I'm not really getting the hydrogen too much. That's the problem here. Alright, so we've got all those done. You're sending a green signal. We need a little more pipe. Just a little more pipe. So you go in there. And then we also need... Oh, you're already connected. All right. So you just need to be enabled. And this is a big loop. So I should hopefully have plenty of time to do this right. So let's go ahead and do this. You guys are doing that. Now hopefully, the ethanol doesn't cause too much problem with the oil refinery. I hope. Because there's still ethanol in here. I didn't get everything cleaned up. 
do, 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 do. You're working overtime for that. Alright, here we go. We're getting some more of that in. Why are we having power issues here? Just a little bit of power issues. Probably because this guy is not currently erupting. And we are really burning through the old, uh... You know, natural gas here. Now let's slow down a little bit. Kind of see what's going on. We're having power issues there. That's a big old problem. Let's go ahead and we're going to open this door. Which will hopefully allow a bunch of this stuff to get out and not be a big issue anymore. Wow, look at that heat. Look at how much it's heat heated up in here, because this was all this. Oh, I might have to do something about that before too long, too. Ah, well. Alright, let's get a dude down here. Hopefully they'll... Oh, of course not, because now it's downtime. Alright. Well, let's see how we're doing on this. So we should have little bits going through already. Alright, those pipes are good and cold. We're getting a little bit of cool down there. How are we doing here? Let's see. You are at 94 degrees. You are come on, at 61 degrees. Alright, this is doing alright. It is, in fact, starting to have an effect. I'll probably pick, dig up this wheeze ward as soon as the rest of this gets down to temperature. We are, in fact, starting to have better temperature. It is better, come try ya. All right, um, yeah, now who gets that reference? Uh, maybe a couple of my subscribers will get that reference, but only a couple. All right. Bam, here we go. You're done there. You're doing that. Do, 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 do. Let this run. Do, 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 do. A little bit more. Kind of watching this stuff flow. Alright, let's slow it down a little bit. I want to see where I am on these pipes. Oh, I still got plenty of space. Like, so much space. It's not even funny. But hey, we've only got the one having body temperature issues. And this means that I should be able to replace some of these with the uh, bristle blossoms. All I'd have to do is put in some lights, and this area is going to stay nice and cool. How's our temperature over here? Not going too bad. Wow, look at this. This is actually, like, cold up here. What is the, uh... <laughs> What's the condensation point? Okay, way colder than it's probably ever going to get. Why are you overheating? Don't overheat. Don't overheat. Don't overheat. Alright, we might need to disable that for a little bit, just to let this cool down. Now, see, what I'm going to have to do eventually here is I am going to need to replace these with steel. Because right now they're just gold amalgam. Which has a good overheat temperature, but not a great overheat temperature like steel is going to. We'll deal with that problem when it occurs. Oh, see, look, we're getting cold leaking out here, too. Now, I am going to need to basically fix that problem, too. Let's go ahead and do that. I don't need that in the way. Actually, we can probably go ahead and deconstruct those tubes. We're pretty much never going to be able to get in there, so insulated tile, we'll put you there. We will put in a couple more ladders, just to make things copacetic. 
put in like a couple there too. Maybe they'll be able to get to that stuff finally. And in point of fact, this guy can be re-enabled because now I don't have to worry about them going in here and getting stuck. I had to, uh, <laughs> I had to load a save at one point because I had like four duplicates get in here and not able to get out. That was stuff in between episodes, which is always fun, right? All right, there we go. We got a little bit of that. We got a little bit of the cooler temperature getting in through here. This is nice. This is nice. We got some cooler temperature up there. And these temperatures should spread at least a certain amount. All right, there we go. And they got up there and deconstructed that. Good. This is actually really cool up here. Look at that. All right. So now, now that we've gotten all this, this is great. We've got our cooling loop done. That is our major accomplishment for the episode. Next, we need to work on our actual steel production. I think I might put it over here and put in... Oh, no, I can't put in another loop. What I can do, however... Oh, you know, I might want to actually check this. Yeah, let's, uh... Do, do, do. We're going to come back down here disable this. You are still injured. Somebody go turn that off. There you go. All right. Now, this pipe gets deconstructed. And that liquid bridge will get deconstructed as soon as the rest of that stuff flows in. We don't want to have too much liquid in the pipes. The more that's in there, up to a certain point, will make it cool faster. But we don't want to run into any issues where it basically blocks itself up. All right, I think... Nope, we got a little more coming in. And that sounds like I got another thing on the printing pod. We're going to wait, though. I want this petroleum to make it in. And then it'll be good. Do, 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 do. All right, and there we go. Of course, now it is the end of the shift, so nobody's going to go do that till tomorrow. I don't want any of that. Reject all. All right. But there we go. There is our loop. Now, as soon as this gets down to temperature, it will shut this off, which will basically allow the whole thing to back up, and it'll be a little bit more consistent at that point. And we can see, yeah, this is really cooling some of this stuff off, like, a lot. And the cool is spreading. You can see it's starting to go a little bit yellow around here. It might be due to get something over here a little bit. I'm not so sure. I might want to extend it a little. Hmm. I am going to need some way of cooling water off. I might need to alter some of these loops. Altering the loop should be fine, right? Right? Just alter it a little bit. It'll be fine. Yeah, this is going good. And look, it's cooling down in here, too. That's pretty awesome. You are turned off. Wait, where are you running to? Did I select the wrong one? That one currently is going nowhere. Alright, I think that was the one I needed. Yeah, that's the one I meant to do. Uh, disable that. There we go. This one might as well stay disabled. Alright, so there we go. No power there means this whole mess stops running. Which does mean the temperature in here is going to raise up, but this should stay relatively the same. As soon as, you know, it's done with the steam that it has, at least. And you... What are your... Okay, yeah, there we go. So we're going to want to replace that with steel once we have it, like I said. So I'm thinking maybe I'll make this little area down here 
for the water. I can actually run this power from that transformer here. Who's Rowan? Go get in the bed. Uh, I can run power down here from that. And then... Yeah. And then I can... Basically... Cool the area. Cool the pipes. Cool the water as it comes out and goes back in. Maybe... I'll have to figure that. I'm going to actually set that up between episodes, at the very least the plan. And we will come back to that next time. Um, but for now, we're doing pretty good. We're doing pretty good. I'm going to get to the end of the cycle here. I still need to figure out something to do with all the excess oxygen I'm making. Because it's preventing me getting my other gases. Hmm... That's definitely going to take a little bit of thought. But something for me to think about between episodes. Anyway, let's go ahead and just kind of super speed our way tonight. Blammo, there we are. All right, let's go ahead and pause up. So what did we accomplish this episode? We got our cooling loop. Things are cooling down. It is looking pretty good. What is the temperature here? It is currently at... 69.4, and once it hits 60, it'll shut off. Do I want it to be 60? I kind of want it. Let's do 64. Just let this go just a touch longer. Yeah, look at that. It's getting down there. Awesome. Awesome. All right. That'll do that. Yeah, I think we're pretty good here. We are, we are doing pretty good. I'm also going to have to deal with this area as well. I'm going to have to give that a little bit of thought. I might have to move these guys and put in a water lock. And then pump out whatever remaining oxygen there is. Or just deal with it because like, there's little bits there and such. Oh, so many things to do. So many things to do. But hey, cooling loop. Done. We're just going to have to, you know, make a few tweaks to it here and there when we need to figure out where, where else needs to be cool. But this is pretty awesome. Anyway, that's going to do it for this episode. So, until next time, have a good one.